Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Man DZ's Kanji Study Streams. We got 12 new vocabulary words from JFPT N1 list today, and as always, if you see new kanji, we're going to write it down 10 times, go over its readings, its meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji. If you see a new word, but it's made a kanji we already know, we're just going to write that down 3 to 5 times and go over the meanings of each kanji that makes up the word to try and put together how the new uh, meaning goes. If you don't want to listen to me write things down and say them out loud, um... I guess you're already on YouTube, so there's nowhere else to go. I guess I can uh, stop saying that line. Uh, if you just if you want these word lists and don't want to listen to me at all, head on over to Google Drive. You can uh, download all these word lists. Our first word of the day is tosan. To on the left side for toppling or falling over, and san on the right side for production or manufacture. So this is a toppling or falling of manufacture, say for a big company. This is corporate bankruptcy or failed business. If you fail on your own, it's hasan for bankruptcy, and if it's a large corporation, it's tosan. The corporations tumble. You just break, but corporations tumble. Tosan is a bankruptcy of a large business or corporation tool on this tool on this tool son is a failed business or corporate bankruptcy tool on this tool on this on this the collapse or fall of manufacturing aka corporate bankruptcy number two is ashikarazu ashikarazu is kind of an adverb slash interjection for don't get me wrong but or i'm sorry written with the kanji for badness ashikarazu meaning kind of don't take it a bad way ashikarazu is don't get me wrong but I have to say this, ashikarazu this. No kanji to remember here, just ashikarazu. Ashikarazu. Just don't get me wrong, or I'm sorry, but ashikarazu this. Just don't get me wrong, but. Number three is herikudaru. Herikudaru is uh, written with the kanji, uh, which I don't show here, for hum humility and humbleness. And herikudaru is our new transitive verb for when you deprecate, or sorry, intransitive verb for when deprecating oneself and praising the listener. Being humble and praising the listener, aka herikudaru. It's to humble oneself and praise the listener. Herikudaru desu. Herikudaru. Number four is ore, ware, or en, for I or myself, with the kanji for a, or for the radicals, for a person on the left side and the right side, we have a covering. So your personal covering is you yourself. Think of this as like um, one's personal uh, skin prison, as I think Rick and Morty put it. Ore, or ware. Usually this is pronounced ore when you see it in reading, but if used with another kanji or another word, it might be en. Ore is I or myself. Ore this. Ore is I or myself. Ore this is I or myself. Ore is I or myself. Ore is I. Myself. Ore this. Ore this. Number five is kogi. Ko on the left side for opposition or opposing, and gi on the right side for a deliberation or a consultation or a debate. So this is a kogi or an opposing debate or discussion or point in a discussion a kogi is a protest or an objection to something kogi this kogi kogi this is an opposing argument or an opposition kogi this kogi 
is a protest or an objection. Kogi. Kogi desu. Kogi is a protest or an objection, aka an opposing argument. Kogi. is a driver in all the senses that we use it in english it could be a person driving a vehicle a driver like a software driver or a driver as in like a golf driver these are all driver it could also mean a screw driver driver is a driver in all the senses that we use it in english pretty much driver Doraiba is a driver. Doraiba. Number seven is ni tatsu. Ni on the left side for boiling, and tatsu on the right side to stand or to put up. So this is kind of meaning you're putting up a boil for something. To simmer or boil is ni tatsu, to put up a boil for something. You can think of it as bringing something up to a boil. Ni tatsu is to boil or simmer. Nitatsu is to boil or simmer. Nitatsu des. Nitatsu. Nitatsu is to boil or simmer. Number eight is mugen, or without having no limit. Mugen is infinity or infinite, depending. It could be used as an adjective na, or could be our noun, infinity itself. Mugen. Is without limit literally translated? Mugen is is without limit or infinity. Mugen. Mugen is. Mugen is without limit. Or infinity. Mugen. Number nine is a pretty easy one with hitome. Hitome is literally translated people's eyes, but it means in the public gaze, with within the view of people's eyes or within someone's attention. Hitome is attention or within the public gaze or in front of people. It's kind of like hitomae, which is like also kind of in public or in front of people. But this is just in their gaze instead of in front of them with hitomae. This is hitome. Or within the public gaze or attention. Number 10 is ne uchi. Ne for a value and uchi on the right side for striking, hitting, or shooting. So ne uchi, or it's not really shooting, more just like hitting. Ne uchi is hitting a price. Um, kind of in the same way that we use what price did it hit. Um, in English, it's kind of the same thing. It's a value, a worth, a price, or a dignity. Ne uchi. Ne uchi. Is hitting some price or a value. Ne uchi is a price or a value. Ne uchi des is a price or a value. The worth of something. Nuchi. 
Number 11 is Zai Seki. Seki on the right side for being enrolled in something, and Zai on the right side for existing. So this is existing on someone's enrolling, kind of existing on a roster for specifically a team, a school, or an, or an organization. Uh, this is the same Seki that's used in Kokseki, or the enrolling in a country, meaning you're a citizen. A Kokseki is citizenship, and Zai Seki is being enrolled in or existing on their kind of records. Zaiseki. Zaiseki. Is existing on the roster. Zaiseki this Is existing on someone's roster for a team or an organization. Zaiseki this Zaiseki is existing on someone's roster. Being enrolled in an organization team or in a school zaiseki zaiseki is being enrolled at a school or belonging to a team or organization zaiseki this zaiseki Number 12 is a waka mono. Waka on the left side for young and mono on the right side, either for a thing or for a person. In this case, it's a person. Waka mono is a young person or a young man, young woman, or the youths, if you guys watch. Um, what's that movie? What's that show with uh, New Girl? New Girl. If you watch New Girl, youths, waka mono. Waka mono are young people or a young person. Waka mono this. Wakamono. For young people or a young person, depending. Wakamono this. Wakamono. Wakamono this. And that's all for today. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we put some good pins in our brain where all these memorizations are eventually going to go. Make sure you're um, making flashcards of these bad boys, hopefully digital. And uh, you're studying them in sentences. That's how you do these things. You study them within sentences. I write them down because I'm a weirdo. Don't do not do like I do. Again, this is, not, this is not where I memorize things. This is where I kind of get started memorizing. This is kind of how I put a flag down in my brain where eventually the flashcards can live. Our first word of the day was corporate bankruptcy or a collapsing of manufacturing. Tao on the left side for collapsing or falling over, and san on the right side, tou san is a collapsing of manufacturing for a business. Tou san is corporate bankruptcy. Don't get me wrong, or but, uh, or could also mean I'm sorry. Is eh, ashikarazu, ashikarazu, ashikarazu. Don't get, don't take this the wrong way, but ashikarazu. To deprecate oneself and praise the listener is heri kudaru. Heri kudaru. These, this is written with um, one kanji. Uh, actually, there's two kanji that could be used to write this word, but it's um, in both cases, it's only one kanji. And both times it means humble. So heri kudaru is to be humble or to um, deprecate yourself in order and to praise the listener. Heri kudaru desu. Our intransitive verb. I or myself is ore. Hoka ni en when used in kanji conjunctions. Ore is I or myself with a person radical and the radical for a covery, so your your skin bag, if you will. A protest or an objection is a kogi or an oppositional ko discussion or argument gi. An opposition to a discussion or argument could be a protest or an objection. Uh, a driver, which is nice and easy. Awa katakana, doraiba. Doraiba is a driver. To boil or simmer is to bring to a boil almost. It's ni tatsu. Ni on the left side for boiling. And tatsu on the right side for standing or kind of putting up oneself. Ni tatsu. Ni tatsu is to boil or simmer something. 
to take to a boil. To stand up to a boil is almost a literal translation. I guess that makes sense. An infinity or something that is infinite is Mugen. Mugen is without limits, literally translated. A public gaze or attention is hito me, or people's eyes. Out of the public gaze or out of people's eyes. A value or worth or a price is a ne uchi, or hitting a price on something, literally translated. Ne uchi is the value or worth of something. Ne uchi desu. Ne. Left side for price. Ne dan no ne plus uchi on the right side. Utsu to strike or hit. Being enrolled in a school, a team, or an organization is zaiseki. Zai on the left side or existing on and seki on the right side for the enrolling itself. Zaiseki is existing on a register or in enrollment. And finally, a young man, young woman, or youths is wakamono. Waka on the left side or young and mono on the right side or a person. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good Wednesday, and I will see you all probably tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita.